Hey Aquarius, I hope you guys are all really well. So welcome to your general love reading for the second half of June, 2022. This reading is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Aquarius, and it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But if you would like a personal reading, you can find all the information about that in the description box. Also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed in this reading because it is general. All right, Aquarius, let's see what's going on with you in a love connection for the second half of June 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, for the situation, oh, we have the Three of Swords crossed by the Empress. Okay, so... There's some pain here. There's either some heartbreak that you have gone through or are currently going through. Um, yeah, and I feel like, you know, you're you're on your way. You're on your way to really finding that inner empress within you and being over to overcome this. But sometimes that can be a little difficult to do. Um, it could be, you know, that maybe you're feeling like you're just not at your best at the moment. And that could also be blocking, you know... Um, the healing process for this but let's see could be the other person but I, I kind of feel like it's it's you most likely all right so for your energy we have the page of cups temperance and the six of cups okay see you are finding your balance you will find you will find your way here um, There's a lot of emotions. I feel like, you know, there's a there's a connection here with somebody where, you know, you you still feel these these emotions for them. And possibly you would even want to communicate about these emotions. I don't know if that's possible for you or not or maybe you've already done that. Um it, it just feels like at the moment like you're just kind of either being patient with your own self or even possibly with the with the connection itself. Let's see. I will say more when we clarify for them. Ooh, the Ten of Swords, the Knight of Swords, and the King of Wands. Okay, so this person is also feeling the pain. Um, so obviously there was some kind of a break or some kind of a fallout um, because this person is also feeling it big time, feeling like there's an ending and it's not a happy ending for them. Um, I feel like this person is a little bit all over the place, especially in terms of their, their thoughts. Um, it, it, with this Knight of Swords, it's like they have this urge to move towards you and to take some action, but it's not very consistent or it's not very stable. I do see them moving, though, towards more um, confidence and standing more in their power. So again, we'll see when we clarify. Um, for the potential outcome, we have the Five of Wands. All right, so some conflict. Either some conflict or some competitiveness even, maybe. Hmm, let's see. Again, this is just meant to be for a very short time period, so who knows what would happen after that. But we'll wait and see when we clarify what that is about. So for now, let's clarify that Three of Swords with the Empress. And we have Temperance showing up again, the Emperor, and the Nine of Wands. Yeah, it's like, I mean, we have both the Emperor and the Empress, so I do feel like this is, this is one of those connections that it can feel like so strong, but at the same time, so difficult because of that. Um, so definitely feeling a very strong pull towards one another. Again, there's pain here. There's pain here on both sides. It almost feels like, you know, there's somebody is being really, really patient or trying to be patient, but that patience is proving to be very, very difficult. So I don't know what that's about. It could be trying to be patient in terms of healing or in terms of the other person, in terms of the something in the connection or something that has happened. 
Um, but it's definitely not easy. Let's see. For the Page of Cups, we have the Ten of Swords, oh, for you as well, and the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, definitely feels like a major ending here, um, or at least that that's what it feels like, regardless of whether it is or isn't in the long run. Um, you're both feeling hurt by this. So this pain is actually not just yours. Um, it's it's for the both of you. Like you're you're mirroring that. Both having this ten of swords. Again, I feel like you're you you want some communication here. You want to be able to express um, your feelings concerning this. I don't know if that's been possible. Again, as I said before, maybe for some of you it has, and for others of you it hasn't. Um, I do get that you're still open to this connection, even though it feels like there's been an ending. You know what, before I even move on to, um, to the next card in your row, I actually want to see this Ten of Swords first for them. So let's see, Ten of Swords for the other person here. The Ten of Wands and the Three of Cups. Okay, so for some of you, this may have been a third-party situation. Um, either that or it's like the two of you reunited for like a short time and then it like ended. Something along those lines, but this ending is very dreadful for them. It's weighing very heavy on them. I feel like they're, they're also feeling like they're carrying a lot of responsibility. Um for this ending and for why this ending has happened and why the both of you are having to go through this pain that you're going through. Hmm. Okay, let's go back to your energy here. Let's see temperance. So that's Sagittarius energy, by the way. Don't remember if I called that out. The Hierophant, okay, Taurus showing up, and the Moon, and Pisces. Really major energies here. That's two major Arcana cards clarifying a major Arcana card. Okay, so when it comes to your own healing, um, there's a lot, there's a lot that's going on, especially in terms of you having to find this balance and not only that, but being patient with yourself for what it is that you're feeling here. Again, it feels like, you know, you might not be feeling your best, but just the message here is to take it one day at a time. I feel like whatever has happened here with this person, it's just bringing up a lot. It may even be triggering things from the past or something's being triggered from the past and that could be... That could be anything. Um, yeah, just be patient with yourself. That's just what I keep getting. I feel like you are getting wiser. You're gradually just learning more about yourself and about this connection. Um, You're still open to it though. You're still open to to a commitment with this person. And it's like, you know, you you want it in a in a very like stable and committed fashion. And that's what, you know, it's hard to deal with not not having that right now and there having been an ending to this. So really what it is that's happening here is you're finding your balance in terms of possibly having a fear that this that this commitment might never reach that level. Maybe it will. Maybe it will. I'm just getting that that's what you're working on um, within your own self. And that's why I'm saying, you know, it does take some patience with yourself. So don't, don't rush anything here in terms of how you feel. Let's see the Six of Cups. All 
All right, Three of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, so there is, again, it's like there is a little bit of um, waiting to see what might happen here with this other person. I do feel like, I actually feel like there is a reconnection um, that is coming up here for you, all right, both with the Six of Cups and the Ace of Wands, and it almost feels like you're kind of expecting it, like either you can, you're feeling it or you're picking up on it, um, or you're just waiting to see if it's going to happen. And I do see some kind of a reconnection happening, especially having this Five of Wands. I mean, <laughs> it's because that does also imply that there is some kind of interaction in order for there to be this conflict. <clears throat> At least that's how it's coming through in this reading. So yes, I do see there being some kind of re reconnecting here. Let's see. So let's see this Knight of Swords for the other person's energy. The Knight of Pentacles and the Tower. Yeah, they're, they're not having a good time right now. Um, there's definitely a lot of back and forth going on in their minds. Um, it's like they're trying to be stable. They're trying to find this consistency or possibly even trying to come up with, with some kind of a plan. But then it's like, it's almost like that plan kind of fails them or it's just either too scary or, you know, that plan would involve um, having to make a huge change in something, like almost having to end something else or destroy something else. And that's why I said, you know, for some of you, I feel like there might be a third party. Um, but th there's a lot of chaos that's happening in their mind right now concerning the connection with you and whatever else it is that they might be going through. There's definitely though this um, desire to move towards that tower, to have to, you know, destroy something. And maybe it's just something in their own self. Maybe it's their ego. Um, might be different for, for all of you. But there's definitely that wanting to move towards that, wanting to move towards truth, wanting to have that plan. I just see them as having a hard time doing that because their minds are so chaotic about it. But again, they're moving towards that King of Wands. So let's see. Let's see the King of Wands because that looks a bit more promising here for this person. All right, we have Death, Scorpio Energy, and we have the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, it really feels like a third party situation for for a lot of you that that's really what the situation is. Definitely doesn't have to be that, okay? Um, for all of you, the messages can still apply. Um, there is an ending here that they're moving towards. And I, I don't I don't feel like it's with you. I feel like it's with this Queen of Pentacles and you're not the Queen of Pentacles. So um, there's some kind of a transition, some kind of an ending here. Either, you know, it might be work related or it might be concerning another person. It doesn't have to be a romantic partner, but whatever it is, um, it's like this person is becoming more and more self-assured about some kind of an ending. Um, which I feel like is related to that tower. All right, so let's see what that Five of Wands is about for the potential outcome here. The Five of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. There's a lot that's happening here is what this is. There's. There's a whole bunch of stuff that's happening. Um, there is ultimately a sense of feeling like there's a loss. Um, I feel like there is going to be, you know, some kind of a conflict here. It might just be involving the other person, mostly. Whatever this conflict is, which I feel does result in feelings of loss or feelings of loneliness. I don't feel like it's for you, but again, it does. the roles can be reversed anyway. Um, there's this 10 of cups here. 
So there is movement towards this happiness um, and towards love, whether it is with this person or not. It's like this conflict actually um, moves things in this direction, right? Where there's this new beginning. It's like some kind of an ending, some kind of a loss where there is either conflict or maybe even um, resistance from the outside, from other people. Maybe even like a competitive struggle, which would make sense if there's a third party. Um, yeah, that actually leads to a new beginning and a possibility, a potential opening up here, the door opening up for love and fulfillment. So, I don't know. I mean, this is meant to be short term. Um, so I'm not saying that this 10 of cups is like manifesting within like two weeks, but definitely I feel like this, um, there's this conflict that is happening. There's this conflict that is happening, which does move things in that direction of the Ten of Cups and this new beginning. So, Aquarius, interesting reading. Let's see if this resonated with you. Let's get the final message. And we have the new moon in Capricorn. Your hard work is paying off. Yeah, whether you realize it or not, you know, being patient with yourself, um, you are finding your balance. You are finding your balance. Your work is paying off. So I'm going to leave it at that. Those are your messages, Aquarius. Thank you so much for watching and much love.